It could be any fitness club until you look closely. Here, amputees work out alongside the able-bodied. Treating casualties from over five years of fighting has created a military centre of medical excellence. Had the court have provided more physio, uh, they managed to fit me a leg within a week of being here um, and getting my return to work and all that sort of stuff started now. As well as the gyms, its therapy pools are in full use and it's had to battle against local NIMBYs to open a hospital for visiting families. Some of the money will be spent on the centre's prosthetics workshop, where state-of-the-art limbs are custom-tailored. In the past, wounded service people had to rely on the NHS, and one even bought his own artificial leg. It means that the, the guys there who are getting limbs don't have to go through the same scenario that I went through at the NHS systems. They've got it in situ, and they've got more funding there, which will give them the material and the, the high-graded legs they require to maintain the lifestyle they've, they've achieved. Casualties will spend the longest stage of their recuperation here. Months in the case of the gravest injured, like guardsman Adam Ball. He lost his entire leg to a landmine in Helmand and arrived here in November. I'm being able to walk with a walking stick at the moment, but after time, if I'm just putting around the house, I don't bother. It's really good just to get some uh, life back. Improvements in battlefield medicine mean many more of the wounded survive to be brought here for long-term care. £24 million won't be the end of it. The nation owes them an ongoing commitment to their well-being and recovery. Jeff Mead, Sky News, Headley Court in Surrey.